Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast, Nam Takes America. I'm so excited to keep talking to my friends and learning about American life. Watch me grow like a Tamagotchi. Are you ready? Let's get started. How are you? Hi, good to meet you. Hi, good to meet you too. Nice to meet you. I'm Naomi. I'm Marie. Marie, welcome to my podcast. Thank you. Oh,、uh, where are you from? So originally from Los Angeles. Oh, but moved to Japan when I was fourteen. I moved back to the U.S. College, came back here, went back again, and I'm back now. Oh, nice.、So、back and forth. Basically, I can't decide where I want to live. Oh, okay. Wow, fourteen. Oh, do you speak Japanese? Um, yeah, it's not very good. Oh, but I do. I、uh, my parents made me go to Japanese Saturday school growing up. Oh, I Saturday school. It's only、uh, weekend Japanese school. Yep, just once a week. Wow. Yeah, I hear about that in the the kids that the Japanese kids that live in the states. Yeah, they go to Japanese school just on Saturday. Wow, so busy. It, yeah, it really was. So it. <laughs> It was a little bit sad. We missed a few birthday parties、yeah. and things like that. But you know, overall, it was. I guess it was good because it was my only sort of foundation in、um, like Japanese, you know, writing, reading, that kind of. Wow, so hard. Yeah, because J- Japanese is so hard. Japanese、language. is so hard, right? So hard. Kanji, katakana, hiragana. Yeah, so it just hasn't really improved since then. That's the problem. Yeah, I've lived here. <laughs> Um, my work has never really been in Japanese.、So. Okay. Oh, you moved to Japan for fourteen years old, right? And、uh-huh. the Japanese school in Japan. The oh no, actually, I went to an international school. Oh, international. Yeah, of course, because yeah, so hard. Yeah, which is yeah, no, really interesting. And I know as I was, you know, thinking back on my experience. Um, going to the international school,、mm-hmm. I was thinking that it was interesting because there were a lot of Japanese students as well,、mm-hmm. but all English speakers, and so a lot of students spoke both languages. Yeah. So there would be a lot of like code switching. Yeah. So that was really new to me. Yes. You know, growing up in Los Angeles, where it was at home, it was like Japanese, and outside of the home, it was all English. Oh wow!、But、at school, it was like kind of a mix at times. <laughs> yeah, mixed talk. Mixed language is so easy, right? Yeah, I think it shows though a level of fluency in both languages.、Mm-hmm. If it's done, I mean, that's it can be either, right? Sometimes people use it because they can't, they don't know the word in another language.、Mm-hmm. But I think when it's code switching, it's because you know you're fluent in both languages, so you ha- you're able to you know kind of mix it. Yeah,、and、I think that's when code switching is like, you know, it's seen in a more positive light. Whereas I think. Yeah, but fourteen years old is very sensitive, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, I mean, it was so long ago. Yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to remember, but it was because it was, you know, it's all about friends, right? During that time, fourteen、mm-hmm. years old, I don't want to leave my friends in LA. Yeah,、um, but I made some really great new friends here, so、mm-hmm. it was, yeah, it, a good community. And I think that's, you know, I'm sure you're aware, having moved. Yourself when you transition, it's all about like building and nurturing a new community. Yes, I think that's what helped me sort of be okay. Yeah, what were the different、uh, American school and Japanese school? Yeah, well, you know, it's because I didn't really go to like a Japanese school.、Mm-hmm. It's hard to say what the similarities and differences are. Besides, you know, one was they were both all girls.、Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that I felt. Like I immediately belonged in my new community because a lot of people spoke Japanese as well. Yeah. And so, whereas in my, you know, sort of American,、um, at my American school,、mm-hmm. there weren't very many, if at all, Japanese speakers. Yes. So maybe that was the main difference initially. I don't know. That's a yeah. I understand because the international school and American high school is、uh, same. Right,、mm-hmm. but outside is Japan, right? Yes, the social life was very different. I would say, you know, before in LA, 
you know, you, we would go to the mall, like we would go to the Beverly Center or Century City, you know, to hang out. And then yeah. in Tokyo, it's like we get to go to hang out in Shibuya or Roppongi. Yeah. So, which, you know, very different. Yeah, very different. Another culture, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think initially I thought, oh, well, you know, I'm, you know, it felt like very cool coming from LA. And then、mm-hmm. soon it was like, no, actually, Tokyo was like really cool.、Yeah. And all my friends wanted to come visit me here.、Mm-hmm. Wow. And what do you do now in Japan? So, I, my background is in school counseling. I was a high school counselor at an international school here、um, for almost seven years. And I am now working for an educational technology company. Okay. And I work on a social emotional learning product. Okay.、Uh, what is college counselor? Yeah. So, a college counselor. So, I was a high school counselor. So, I did both college counseling as well as social emotional counseling. So, I think, you know, social emotional counseling,、um, you know, talking to the students about sort of like, you know, things that they were going through or,、um, Academic support sometimes as well. Wow. And then the college counseling was about, you know, what are their strengths? Find, helping them find their strengths, their interests,、mm-hmm. maybe passion, and then helping them find a university、mm-hmm. that was a good fit for them. And of course, you know, you have to apply to like multiple. So we would, I would help them with their university applications. Wow. It is great. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese high school is, don't have. They don't have that? Yeah. No. no. Maybe. I, I don't go high school, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Japanese schools now have social emotional counselors that come a few times a week. But、oh. then they have to, because there's so much, you know, there aren't very, I think that's, I mean, from what, 10 years ago when I was kind of looking into that, that's what it was. So it may have changed since then. Okay. But you're right. Like the high school counselor, like sort of what I, Did、um, in terms of both social emotional counseling, academic counseling, and college counseling. I don't believe that role exists at like a, you know, at a Japanese, in a Japanese school. Okay. Is it very popular in America? Yeah, it, it would be. It's a very standard role. I mean, every school h a v e you know,、oh. a high school counselor or, you know, multiple high school counselors. I didn't know that. It's,、yeah. it's great. Yeah, my high school had three, three three counselors. Every day? Yeah, every day they're at the office. So you can go talk to them anytime. Anytime? Yes. Is everybody using? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, I would say, I mean, of course it depends, right? Some students go see their counselor more、um, than others. Wow. But the, in terms of you know, being、um, available for everyone, absolutely. It's, it's you know, the counselors、What? are there to support all students, not、yeah. just, you know. It's so cool because young kids is very sensitive, right?、Yeah. And grow up. Yeah, it's rough times. Yeah. It is, absolutely. Yeah. I would say that, like, you know, they're also really resilient.、Mm-hmm. You know, they can really overcome a lot as well.、Mm-hmm. So it was very special for me to be able to be a part of that time、yes. for them. I worked with students in grade 10, 11, 12.、Uh-huh. So, pretty, you know, like in a Japanese school, it would be, you know, the, the last three years of high school. Yeah. And、um, yeah, it was amazing because I would, you know, it would, it's not just like difficult things too, right? I also get to, you know,、um, talk to them about really fun things that they're going through. And for example, like students would come to me and I worked at an all boys school and they would be like, I want to, you know, go to prom with this, with this girl from this other school.、Uh-huh. Could I, you know, practice my prom proposal or could I tell you what I'm going to do? Oh my so, God. What? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on.、Eh? One more, please.、Eh? <laughs> so, prom is like a big dance, like a big sort of、um, formal. So, the students would, you know, because they would just want to like practice or talk about it before they did that. So, oh my God. You know, so it was just so, so cool. So cute. To be part of that. Yeah, you do that? So, yeah, they were, I mean, they would, that wasn't like my job, part of my do- job description. <laughs> like, <laughs> to postals, but, oh my God. You know, it was That's so sweet.、Yeah. So it sweet. Was so sweet. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we, I had, yeah, there were a lot of funny things that happened too.、Uh, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. I mean, things that they maybe they didn't feel comfortable talking to their parents about, but they trusted me to, you know,、mm-hmm. to listen. Yeah. Maybe、um, young kids have, So many programs like love、mm-hmm. and study、mm-hmm. and relationship. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's just so much going on. Yeah, and the future is 
now mm-hmm. versus right? yeah yeah absolutely. also the pressure right the pressure yeah. students feel yeah. nowadays mm-hmm. there's so much pressure like you must go to this university or yes. you must become this you know mm-hmm. go into this profession so absolutely students i think there's so much um that they're going through and i think that's why i mentioned earlier that i think they're really resilient too because mm-hmm. even though they're exposed to so much and you know, now with social media and everything too, that adds a layer that like, we were not, oh, we didn't go through that. Yeah. True. Wow. You, you are jo- your job is great. Everybody helping. Yeah, it was great. It was absolutely, yeah. It, it was, yeah, I absolutely loved it. And yeah, the students, um, families, and we're just working in a school environment. It's really fun as well. Yeah. Counseling is popular in America, mm-hmm. but in Japan is mm, sometimes mm, not as much. Yeah, not as much. Maybe. For sure. Yeah, I don't think it's as readily available mm-hmm. as well, even though now, you know, of course, online, there's a lot more online services. But I think in the U.S., just from my experience there, it's just normalized. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, and you know, my when I talk to my counselor about this, like that's no one's going to be like, oh, you're seeing a counselor or you're t- speaking to a counselor. Right. Whereas I think in Japan, yes. it's not the norm yet. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's like if you say, uh, I went to go see a counselor to talk about da da da, like, oh, you have, oh, it's so serious. It's yeah. There's problems that you have. The sounds is very serious it's in like Japan. You're, you're going to a doctor. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. But America is, very uh, casual. Yeah. Yeah. So I never go to um, counseling. Mm-hmm. But it's it's almost like like meditation or yoga, I feel. You know, you let it out and you talk to somebody that's neutral. Yeah. You know, and bounce, right. bounce your feelings off a wall, off a person, off a counseling. You know? Or like, you know, people go see a physical trainer in the gym, right? And it's like, you know, you're you're focusing on your physical health. And I think, mm-hmm. you know, at least in the U.S. now, it's it's like you would see a counselor to focus mm-hmm. on your mental health. And maybe that's hopefully changing in Japan as well. Yes. But um, I think, you know, there's, it's still just not as yeah, readily available or accepted. Yeah. We need a counselor mm-hmm. all the time, but yeah. What do you think? Counselor is hard, hard job. Yeah. I think it's, I think it can be really challenging. Mm-hmm. Um you know, I've worked on a lifeline before. And I remember one of the things that I learned was to compartmentalize, mm-hmm. you know, you have to do that or else, you know, something that you hear that's really heavy mm-hmm. can stay with you. And that's, that, I think those things that can be really difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you're able to compartmentalize and also make sure that you do a lot of self-care, mm-hmm. I think you can be, you know, a, a really effective counselor. Yeah. Wow. I want to go. Me too. Have you been? No, actually, um, when I needed one, when mm-hmm. I felt like, you know, I just had some problems mm-hmm. that I just wanted to get off, you know, just thoughts that I wanted to get off my chest. I, I looked it up. Okay. It was either it was very expensive. Oh, I didn't know um, that. And like, you know, not in the school, outside of school, uh-huh. um, private practices, yeah. very expensive or... Um, for me in Tokyo, the, mm-hmm. most of them are in Japanese, right? Mm-hmm. I'm better at talking probably about my feelings in English. So it was hard to find an English counselor. But now, I see. This was like 10, 15 years ago, but now there's so many online counseling. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Yeah. I want to try because I, oh, uh, my job, my work, mm-hmm. it's okay. My, friend relationship is okay Mm -hmm. i always problem love Mm -hmm. you know (laughs) are you guys okay (laughs) we were supposed to laugh (laughs) yeah (laughs) love is so hard love it is is so hard yeah yeah, the partner is uh, the communication is important right but friends it's okay but the partner, I always no good. Mm-hmm. So, like in the states, they have a lot of marriage counseling too. You know, yeah. like you go with your partner together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, everybody going to. Yeah, count. everybody goes. Yeah. Yeah, I love this system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I have a question now. Mm-hmm. Can I go into 
counseling <laughs> my crush. I mean, that would, yeah, if, you're, Why if not? your crush is open to it, yeah. but I'm not sure if your crush is aware that <laughs> you feel like you're in a relationship with them. <laughs> <laughs> if he's okay, yeah. Because all, all, all the time, one-on-one, -on -one, the talking, mm -hmm. is it's a loop mm -hmm. because he has confidence mm -hmm. and I'm confident, but different opinions, yeah, every day. Loop, loop. So he he talks to you about the same thing every day. Yes, every time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Have you ever? So there's a is a counseling technique or a skill called uh, caring confrontation. So you would say like I've noticed, you know, so and so like that you've mentioned this yesterday mm -hmm. and today as well. So you're mentioning the same thing. You know, is that is and then you can ask, you know ask a question, an open ended question. So uh -oh. something like, you know, is there? It sounds like you're telling me the same thing, but are you looking for a different answer? Sorry, that's a closed question, but you would, you know, ask him. <laughs> Sorry, that's a closed question because it's a yes or no answer, right? But you would ask about, you know, is there something going on? Mm -hmm. oh. So instead of you going to a counselor, you could be the counselor mm -hmm. by, you know, saying to him, like, you're saying the same thing. Are you looking, you know, it sounds like you might be looking from a, oh. for a different answer from me. Oh my God, you are good counselor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all. But you know, you can, you can sort of empower yourself with those skills. So it's not like you're, you know, you're, you're not going to a counselor to like, Oh, I'm going to solve all my problems. Yeah, right? yeah. You want to become more like self aware and like be empowered with these tools. Mm -hmm. So you have your own toolbox. So every, anytime you encounter what like a difficulty in a relationship, you can go to your toolbox and say, what skill am I going to use here? Or what technique? Mm -hmm. And how am I going to move this forward? Wow. Yeah. The relationship is so hard. So hard. But they are. Yeah. I think all relationships are. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I never thought that go to the counsel counseling. Right. Yeah. Because I'm Japanese. Yeah. It's not an option here. Yeah. And always uh, call to my friend. Oh, please. Hey, please. Can you listen? But every time is so hard, right? But yeah, yeah. Because you also don't want to burden your friends by saying, talking about the same thing every time. Yeah, I know. If, you know, if there's something, if there's something that's like been on your mind for a long time yeah. or something that's bothering you. Yeah, but counseling is... Can work. help with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Absolutely. So I think we need to sort of destigmatize. Mm -hmm. you know, say it's not a bad thing to go to counseling, right? It's just, yeah. it's, it's to really, it's, it's like, it's empowering yourself. It's like a mental health sort of, um, yeah, like tune-up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe American celebrity has private counselor? I think, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't discriminate between like, you know, celebrities or any, just, I think just the other day I was watching um, Architecture Digest YouTube video on John Legend and Chrissy Teigen's house, yeah. this beautiful home in Los Angeles. And I, Notice that she mentioned in the video that this is where I speak to my therapist. This mm. is my, this is the space that I have in my house. Wow. So again, really trying to normalize that, that it's, you know. Um, it's okay to talk. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Let's try. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to talk, like, and to talk to somebody that's neutral, that doesn't, yes. you know, mm -hmm. they're not saying something because you want to hear it. Yes. They're saying it because... They're in a neutral position. You yes, know? exactly. And it's not like they're going to fix everything either, right. Uh -huh. right? right? So we have to, like, maybe our parents or our loved ones who want to come in and, like, fix things for us yes. and help solve the situation. But sometimes you can't always solve it. Yeah. Um, you just need to maybe see it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Or So good. Uh, young kids have so many problems and 35 me, so much problem. Yeah, I think everybody. I think, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Every Absolutely. generation Absolutely. has program. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't just, it definitely doesn't um, discriminate with age yeah. at all. Mari, you are, you are the best. Mm -hmm. Your work is helping everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it was very, very like rewarding. But mm -hmm. yeah, also exhausting. I mean, you know, working at a school, of course, mm -hmm. um, like working sometimes with parents could be challenging too. Yeah. 
ソーシャルエモーショナルカウンセラーうん、うん、I didn't know that but yeah today is I, I learn today go to the counseling、うん、yeah it's <笑> not heavy it's not heavy yeah Not, not at all. And you know, finding like sort of a good fit counselor is important.、Mm -hmm. So it's okay that if you like, you know, talk to a counselor, you're like,、mm, I'm not sure if this is a good fit.、Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean like counseling's not for you.、Mm -hmm. It just might mean that you need to just speak to a few more, you know, to another counselor and see who is a really good fit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mari. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for Thanks, your time.、Marie. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you.、Ray. Maybe I. Go to Mary's home because <laughs> for counseling. Please counseling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Don't come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> you need a therapy room like John Legend. Okay, John Legend.、Yes. Okay. <laughs> you should watch that. You gotta yeah, watch the YouTube videos.、Okay. <laughs> Don't come to my house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> More info on naomitakesamerica.com. Go to the counseling, it's so hard. For us Japan, Japanese, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, very、um, serious. Yeah, it's definitely not normalized and it's expensive. Yeah, yeah. I need it. Yeah. Because、um, I always, the crush is. Crazy, crazy relationship. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, maybe if you talk to somebody, there's there's a different way, like Marie said, to approach things. Yes. Or, you know, I, yeah, like she said, it's not a, maybe a way to、mm -hmm. get answers、yes. immediately, but, you know, it, it, I think it helps.、Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe we change the mind. The counselor. Exactly. In Japan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go、mm, Mali's house. uh She's going to say, um. Thank you so much for listening. Follow me on Instagram at Watanabe Naomi 703 for update. And don't forget to rate and review the show. Talk to you next week.